So robots have sensors and motors. The sensors sense how it, the, sorry, the sensors sense the world around it and the actions act upon the world and will do something. So this robot has different sensors and if we go under the basics menu, we can see some of these different sensors. This first sensor is the touch sensors. So there are five touch sensors at the top of Thymio. And if I go ahead and I bring one of these blocks, this one says, if this is true. And so I can say, if I touch the forward button, I can also select different buttons or multiple buttons. So to make it easy right now, I'm going to say, if I touch the forward button, now I need to grab one of the blue box and the blue blocks are actions. These are the things that make something happen. So I'm going to say, this is a move block. The move block controls the motors. I can control the left motor and I can control the right motor. So what I can say here is if I press the forward button, make my robot move forward, okay? But in order to test this, I need to do something else. I need to link my computer to the robot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here and click link. And now my robot is connected. So when I hit run, and I go ahead and press the front sensor, my robot's gonna go ahead and move. But there's no way to stop the robot because I did not program it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to hit the stop button. Now I need a way to stop my robot. So I'm gonna go under basics, scroll up, and it would be nice if I say, if I press the middle button, I need an action and I can grab this move block and have the motors stop. So now when I hit run, I have just loaded the program from my computer to my robot. And when I press the forward button, it runs. When I press the middle button, it stops, okay? Now, wouldn't it be cool if we add on lights? So what I can do is I can go What I can do is I go under basics and I'm gonna scroll down to these lights and over here I can program the top light and I can also program the bottom light. And I also have the option of making it make a noise. So I can say, I can add this here and what it now says is if I press the button that's the forward button, it will drive forward, and I can go ahead and I can turn my robot green. And I can go to the basics block and go ahead and say, if I press the middle button, turn it red. I'm gonna go ahead, hit run to load my program to the robot, press the forward button, turns green and drives forward. I press the middle button, it turns red and it stops, okay? So we also have the option of getting some different sensors. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click the basics and I'm gonna scroll up. Some of the other sensors I have are these proximity sensors. These are the sensors that are all around the front and the back of the robot. So I can click it here and say, if there is something in front of the robot, do something. So I'm gonna go ahead, click the basics, scroll down and select a blue one. And this statement says, if the robot sees something in front of it, turn. And I'm going to combine red and blue to get the color purple. I'm gonna go ahead, hit start. I'm sorry, I'm gonna go ahead and hit run. So now when I put my hand in front of the robot, my robot turns purple, okay? So now I have a way to program the top touch sensors. I have a way to program these different sensors. I could also program more and say, 
if I if my robot sees something in back of it make my robot I can combine red and green and I can also program the bottom light so I'm gonna go ahead and program the bottom light and I'm also going to make it that same color. I'm gonna hit run to send my program to the robot. And there we go. Now I have the top light is yellow and my bottom light is yellow, okay? There are other sensors as well. So for instance, I also have tap. So I can grab this block over here and this is like an accelerometer where the robot can sense a force. So in this case, if, guys, can we not play with robots right now for me? Thank you. Okay, so in this instance, we can program it where if it feels a tap, it's going to do an action. So what I can say, if my robot gets tapped, I'm going to go ahead and play a noise. So I'm going to go ahead, hit run, and I'm going to go ahead and tap my robot. So now I have multiple things that my, pro my robot is programmed to do, okay? So what you're going to be doing is incorporating these sensors and actions into your animal project. And there is something else I want to show you. These blocks control the accelerometer. So depending on how the robot is tilted, right now we just have two options here, but you can say, I'm gonna get rid of this block for right now. What you can say is if I tilt the robot, make my robot turn green at the bottom. See, make sure you don't have two of the same actions because that would actually confuse it. For every action, you need to program, sorry, for every sensor, you need to program a different action. Otherwise it gets confused. So I'm gonna go over here and I'm going to turn it if I actually turn all of the lights on and I tilt my robot, you get a color that's close to white. Okay? So, are you guys ready to get started? Yeah. Yes. Okay, hold on one second. One second, guys. So the way that you guys are going to find this, 